the here is the continuation of what I'm explaining about the Tesla and why the this technology which is quite excellent not become popular to many designer as because when the silicon transistor was created they have the weakest link is on the base side uh, uh, you know if you will go back to a simple relay let's say we, we will make a simple 12 volts relay and there is a contact here you can put maybe 220 volts DC here and then go here you know put some load there's a load and this is the positive and this is the negative side but only this is a 12 volts but once you go to high frequency ambient this 12 volt creating here create an energy create an energy that look like shorting it it's not ionization but it can have some way of going here and making short to the contact here the, the same thing on the, the base that's what I'm explaining and that's why a lot of the, the, the popularity of Tesla designing like this and when they have many electronics screens coming in, it's in this kind is really interrupting the frequency of another frequency is jumping on a frequency because of the ionization that's the arcing thing which always interrupt to the radio frequency or whatever frequency so and be difficult to to tune up like what happened to me take a long time for me to figure out how to do it uh, that, that's the actually basic problem and uh, you can regarding that uh, this one for you uh, wh what's happening inside I just explaining something with for you to have since I can give it without a problem like let's say the IGB we go back to the IG IGB is the best one the problem when you are if you want to to actually uh, there is a chance one day IGB they can work there is a chance uh, from other designer maybe if you go to the ambient, it's a high static thing, you know, high voltage, high static. This one, this IGBT start to create, it's like a capacitor. They have a, 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 a building capacitor, they start to have a building capacitor here. They call it parasitic or whatever, but this one is become capacitance. This area from the gate, source drain, you know. So that's the problem because this wire, it's like if you are connecting here, this is like an LC already, and then uh, parallel and series LC. So this is a problem. So somebody must, uh, but there's some way how to do it. Maybe some, I, I have no, I'm not good at IGB to use the IGBT actually. But if you want, I give you some idea. Let's say this is the IGBT. And always there is a, inside there is a pre-wheeling diode always. But. Can it, this one pre wheeling diode that's a pre wheeling pre wheeling diode it was there uh, because of the manufacturing process that is really required to put there but you must support that you must put external pre wheeling diode which is a little bit bigger so that that's it so in case there is a reverse polarity I mean this will not go to here this is the gate and another thing you must put here the, the speed of reverse polarity maybe this one cannot you must put some scatidoid here we call it this is the past past diode and here is the something like that or Scotty diode this is one uh, basic or you know you can explore it if you want this is the load so this will protect 
the immediate reverse of I can explain little later on but not now but this is you can uh, put it here in just in case there is an a very fast reverse polarity of something like ambient etc this will help because this one will help you to delay if there is a fast reverse uh, polarity of current this one will delay the power going in so that diode have enough time to cut the reverse uh, current going through here so there is a delay it can create a delay on it some designer putting this here but it's up to you to exp to you know experiment it whichever but honestly I cost me a lot experimenting this thing I am have no success you know and here is the positive and here is the negative so it's up to you to, exper to experiment since I know a lot of engineer inventor they have a lot of IGBT parts but always to create a lot of back EMF you must go to the same principle of Tesla is the lowest resistance as much as possible that's why you know at the end of the lifetime of Tesla before he keep using high voltage before he is using a lot of high voltage it was easily you know if you have here spark up and this is the coil and this is the capacitor you just have some stationary spark up or rotary it can connect on the right time up you know if this uh, the the ambient I mean the the space can't withstand it will come can create a induction conduction here but since this is create a lot of spike so much spike using high voltage etc so he used a low voltage already but but using here uh, a mercury contact a mercury contact that is you can remember that's the time he it's he call it a liquid metal you know it's a liquid metal that's the time after that he is able to run a car uh, with few batteries only or maybe there's no battery at all it's just starting but he used a mercury contact and using a low voltage and that's it that's his last uh, I think that's where he, he already now he able to run a car because at high voltage using the only way you can go is a spark up of stationary or rotary type of spark up but eventually it will corrode the tip the contact point but the mercury can maintain I mean that's why as well uh, why Tesla using the high voltage because it can you know you can have a space gap on it and you can choose on high voltage uh, creating a spike by means of low voltage you cannot create back M, good back MF on that so what when he discovered about using the mercury contact is a physical contact on his patent based from his patent now he create a low resistance with high back EMF but low voltage I mean low voltage even at something like 100 volts only or maybe lower than that and then he create and then collect the ambient and uh, that's the part of the history because he's able to run the electric car without with few batteries only uh, that's what I can share and uh, because a lot of people are asking me and keep asking repeating keep asking I'm tired ask you know and I maybe I need to tell you about this thing uh, so you can start experimenting without me you know giving the classified information what I discovered okay that's for today and I hope you enjoy watching the video and learn something and if you have some questions just keep asking uh, in, but I think I don't have time now to answer all but I think this is what you can get from me thank you very much to all of you thank you bye